Hi, this is Thrifty Gal Collectibles. I'm here to show you the most recent haul that I got from Wednesday afternoon when I spent the day up up the river doing some antiquing, meh, antiquing and yard sailing and flea marketing. Then these are some of the things that I got. So I will show you right away are these really cool retro looking glasses, pink and blue and turquoise. No, turquoise, pink, and white. How's that? And those are, I believe, Libby. Let's see here. Yeah. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. So there's five of those. And they really are very cool looking. So someone will like those. I'm going to take them to my booth at the old factory in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, and those will do well down there. I also picked up some metal. I've got four trivets. I don't know, I've been on a trivet kick lately, but I have three roosters, and they're showing a little bit of wear, but they're just so chippy that they were too cool not to, not to pick up. And they're flat, so they would hang on the wall quite well. So that's the back. And then we have this one, which I thought was very neat. It has the brooms and the ornate edging. So I had to get that one, even with the paint on it. And then that's the back side. With uh, four feet, so it'll sit flat or hang on the wall, whatever you would like. The other next thing that I have here are these metal cars. They're really cool and really brightly colored. They're made from cast aluminum, I believe. And there's a mark here. I can't read it. This one says 1909 Hup, Hupmobile. And each one of them here. They're in pretty good shape. Some paint wear here and there, but overall the color of the paint is really, really good. Again, here's the back end. Midwest. That's all I can read. BB. That's that one. And the last one here is a white car. Kind of big. Oh, this is a 1910 Buick. So these would make a great wall decor. Maybe in a little boy's room, or hey, what about the garage or a man cave if you're into cars? So the next thing is I found this little Littlestown vice, and they always do really well for me at the old factory. So that's probably gonna go to my antique booth. It's pretty heavy. Needs a little bit of WD-40, it, it, it kind of sticks. So there's a Littlestown number three uh, bench vise, or tabletop vise. I love horses, and I picked this up. Um, it's, it's got a metal frame, and it's just a simple little picture, it's oval. And I might keep this one for myself just because I like it. But it really should go down to my antique shop. <laughs> so that is a nice picture for the horse lover or dog lover. I believe that's a great Pyrenees. No, nope, no, nope, maybe not. Not sure. Next thing is this great looking retro lamp. It's really awesome. It works. Uh, I can't show you right now because the plug is too far away. But it's pretty big. The top just lifts off. I put a light in there. And um, it just sits on top and you have to turn it on here. And that will go down to my stand at the old factory as well. And I'll show you the bottom. I don't particularly like the uh, tape job on the bottom, but that's how I got it. So. As is great for a mid-century 
room. And I got this wicker basket, uh, waste, can waste basket, nothing too fancy. It's small, great for a small bathroom or in an office. You don't see them in green very often. Next is the Mary Maid Sprinkler. She is a little rough, but overall, together, the only sad thing is this is not her original top. She had a flat sprinkle top. I guess somebody needed something to make her look like a sprinkler, so they did that to it. So, eh, we'll leave, we'll leave that in there. So that's Miss Mary made. Um, back here, I have a really nice jewelry box. And I think I'm going to fill that and put some jewelry in it and take it to the old factory. Just fill it up and sell it all together. It needs a little dusting and there's a few scratches on the top. But it's really very nice and solid too. It has a blue velvet lining on the inside. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. I'll show that in a second. Nice, sturdy, probably was an ice cream bucket, judging by the metal pieces on top. But it's really cool looking. And it's got some good character, and yeah, it was an ice cream bucket. <laughs> a little dirty on the inside, but hey, I'll dump it out take it down there. So I know somebody that likes those things, so they'll be going to my friend. But he likes to do a lot of decorating and use weird stuff, so that's those things. So I will move them out of the way. One second. I got this really cool Libby's food box. It's nice shape, nice size. Well, a lot of this stuff isn't even going to make it to the online, I don't think. Just uh, maybe the cars and that might go in the hankies here. I, I, I got a small stop sign. Nice. Everybody likes signs. So that'll go to my antique stand. And another stop ahead, which probably matches that one. <laughs> I will be taking that down. And I managed to pick up um, a bunch of hankies, which those will be going in my Etsy shop because I usually put those in there. They seem to do well in the Etsy shop. So there's a lot of pretty ones here. This one here is hand rolled edges. So I got a couple of loose ones here in the florals. And I also picked up, <clears throat> excuse me, oops, it was a whole box with hand embroidered on linen, already folded. They're really, really pretty and dainty, already in the box. So those will probably go in my Etsy store as well. And last but not least, this wonderful large weight sign. I couldn't pass that up. That was pretty big. It's 30, 36 inches tall. So that's going in my stand as well. Or on Facebook Marketplace. Not sure yet. Um, but that was a nice find. There was lots of signs. I passed up one that I should have bought. But when I went back to get it, it was gone. So you snooze, you lose, I guess they say. So this is my haul from Wednesday. Like I said, most of this is going to be going to my stand at the old factory in Hummelstown. You can find me on eBay and Etsy. Uh, my information is in the bio there. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Teague out. out.